Hi guys, this is the uh, transformer I'm currently running my Tesla coil on. And it's still not quite big enough. It's only puts out about 3.5 kV, I think. Sure, it was 3.5 kV. And obviously, it's not big enough. I mean, maybe, might be 5 kV if it's lucky. This, however, is a 10 kilowatt transformer, which is what we want. But it's only 110 volts. It's a center tap split, 55 and 55, 240 in. It's a side transformer, basically. 10 kilowatt transformer. So I'll, I think I'm going to bite the bullet, split this core, and have a go at winding my own secondary. So wish me luck. And I'll, uh, I'll be back shortly. Right, guys, with a bit of a gentle persuasion, we've managed to get one of the laminates out of this thing. And I'll tell you now, that wasn't easy. But uh, we've got it out now, so it looks like we are going to be able to get this core apart. So what I'm going to do now before I go any further is uh, pop it back together, clamp it up, and uh, I'm going to put a couple of turns around this and see roughly how many volts per turn we're going to expect from this transformer. And we know roughly what we have to rewind to get the voltage we want. Okay guys, back shortly. Right guys, uh, we've got two full turns around this now, as you can see. And uh, it's good news to be fair, it's uh, 8.23 volts, so 8 volts on a couple of turns, so it's, you know, two, it's uh, 4 volts per turn, that's uh, that's good. I mean, that means we're not going to need too many uh, secondary windings. Fantastic news. Okay guys, I'll carry on for stripping this down, we'll strip that secondary off that form and I'll be back to you shortly. And just a little side note, for any of you guys out there who think, you know, there's only a couple of turns of uh, thin gauge wire on here, and, you know, it's not going to put out much current. Well, I'll just show you this. Because, yeah, uh, I'd probably think the same if I'd not seen this. I mean, it, it can be quite a light coupling, but even though... Over 80 amps, obviously, uh, resistance is going up now, so we're losing current. And she'll be on fire in a second. So there you go guys, uh, this is definitely a valid project, so uh, we'll crack on. Right guys, we've now uh, liberated this uh, winding from its core. So uh, we'll get that on the bench and we'll have a closer look at it. Get the uh, secondary off it, hopefully. Guys, we're still on with this uh, rewind, transformer rewind. And uh, this is just a little lash up I've made. I mean, I've quickly just screwed together some bits of timber to make some kind of... Uh, <laughs> makeshift coil winder but I'm sure it'll do the job and uh, to keep track of our windings we've just got a little inductive pickup and uh, obviously a counter so as we turn it'll just uh, tot up our, our winds I've worked out we need about 1250 turns to get our 5 kilovolts and uh, I might go a little bit above that but I mean uh, about 120 turns per layer I, I reckon if we just leave a little gap each side to try and minimise the risk of arcing to the core I think I worked it out with roughly 120 on each, uh, each layer so about 10 layers, but um, I might put a few extra on just to, uh, just to account for voltage drop. But anyway, yeah, this is as far as we've got. Like I say, uh, we need to attach some way of driving this, maybe just a cordless drill for the sake of a thousand windings. It's not a big job. We've actually uh, got some wire as well, thanks to a good friend of mine who's uh, kindly sorted this out for me. So uh, obviously make shift again, but like I say, it's one job, we're not going to go overboard. So uh, we're all set up for winding now, so uh, as soon as I start winding guys, I will make a, a return and uh, show that. Thanks guys, speak soon. Right guys, uh, we've got a layer of insulation around there now, a layer of card, and then I'm going to do another layer of card. I'm not dealing with 5 kV, so I mean, what is it, 5 mil, or whatever. So, but we're trying to make sure we minimise the risk of arc over. What I'm going to do is, uh, like I say, put two layers of this. Bang some um, masking tape or something on there, and then uh, start winding from there. We've still got the insulation on the wire as well. Right, we'll see how it goes. Right, the winding is underway now, guys. There's uh, 10 winds on there so far. And uh, as I said, we'll get about 100 to 120 turns per layer, depending on uh, how close I choose to go to the edges. Obviously, I've started here, but um, that's to leave a little bit of relief for the uh, feed through. Obviously, I'm going to go a bit closer than this to the edge. So, I'll get a few uh, layers on and I'll get back to you. Hi guys, we're to the end of the first uh, layer now. You can see there's 118 winds on there. 118 turns. And um, it's looking good. So I worked it out between 100 and 120 turns, depending on how close I wanted to go to the edges. And uh, I think that's close enough. 
So I think we might get a little bit more than obviously than 180. Should get about 125, 130 turns per per uh, layer. But uh, right, we'll see how it goes. I'll insulate this one up and we'll start another layer. And obviously I'll get back when I've got more to see. Thanks. Right, we're up to the third layer, guys. 369 wines. I'll keep going. Right, guys, as you can see, we've got this uh, coil wound now. 1268 turns in total. So uh, we'll bang this back on the core, power it up, and see what happens. Hi right, guys, right, we've got this transformer all put back together now. I put a bit of uh, phenolic top on here, and uh, obviously some standoffs and feed throughs for the high voltage cables. These are silicon proper high voltage leads. That's the uh, primary side. It's uh, gone well. So I'm going to show it tested now. Yeah, uh, obviously when this is running the Tesla coil, we're going to have one side of the uh, secondary grounded because this goes to the actual cathode and the off the uh, voltage doubler. The way I've done the feed through is I've just used some um, bit of piping and I've fed the high voltage still just to keep it off here. Obviously we've grounded the inside side of the winding that's closest to the uh, primary and the core obviously. But um, I'm sure you could run this uh, float and you could ground either and it won't matter because there's plenty of clearance. Um, right, I've actually got a divider probe on there and uh, the float set up here so we can show the voltages. Got it plugged on top of my variac, which is up there. So I'll just give a little demonstration of it running and show that we've. Uh... Oh, that for, just for uh, reference is a microwave oven transformer so you can actually see the size of this thing. Right, I'll just run up the voltage. I'll call out the voltages, what's uh, on the primary side, and you can observe what's on the secondary side. I'll just zoom in a little bit after it's skew shaking because I'm doing this by uh, handheld on the phone. As I progress, guys, I will get a um, tripod set up and make some better videos. So I just want to get some content up there for now. So, right, here we go. We'll just wind it up slowly. Here we go. See, we've got 1.5 kV on there already. We're at 80 volts on the primary side. 120. 180. 200. 210. 20. 230, 240. See, at 240, we've got our 5kV that we want to. It's starting to hiss now, obviously, because we've got one side grounded, the whole 5kV is on the uh, the hot terminal, shall we say. So, we'll, we have actually got some old wine on this variac, so we'll wind it up and uh, see what we, we can achieve maximum. So, here we go, we're on the old wine now. Obviously, we're starting to saturate the course, so we'll put a bit more current. We've got 3 amps now, which is still a lot better than them silly mods we were using. 15 amps for ridiculous idle current. Here we go. Right, we're flat out on the very right now. 5.6 kV, so that should easily achieve our uh, our 10 kV after our voltage doubler, even with a bit of voltage drop. So, uh, we'll call that a success. Very happy. Hope this is useful to some of you guys out there, because obviously these transformers can be picked up for really cheap. I think I paid 100 bucks for this. As a site transformer, it was actually a 240 to 110, and the secondary was obviously split, center tapped, and uh, they do that so you can your voltage from ground is only 55 volts. If you go to a cable and it's on site, you've only got 55 volts, you know, relative to ground each side. You only get the full 110 or 120, whatever it is, across the uh, both terminals of the secondary. But like I say, these are easy to pick up. You can pick them up cheap. They come in these boxes that I uh, built my variac from. Sorry guys, I'm used to this. Yeah, if you come in these boxes, I've pulled that out of there and uh, put my variac in there. But like I said, they can be had for cheap on eBay. Even pick them up in scrapyards because they're not that much use really. And uh, if we can rewind them into make them into a nice uh, transformer for our projects, that coincidentally I think I ended up with about fourteen hundred turns in the end on this of that uh, 0 0.8 wire. But anyway, if I can help any of you guys out, if you want any information on what I've done or how I did it. Just uh, give me a message and I'll try and help you if I can. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope it's helpful to you and uh, more to come soon. Oh, also on a side note, uh, I've got some pretty good stuff coming up. I've got a big 25 watt argon laser to tear down. There's some other transformer stuff. I've got this big 11 kV transformer that's sat here. Three phase. This should be a bit fun. Also, we've got some more of these big ass caps. We've got six of these now. These are 25 microfarads at 20,000 volts. I mean, we've got a big pile of these things, so. Should be some awesome destruction coming up with them things, can crushers, uh, EMPs, all that kind of stuff, coil guns, whatever you can think of. Anything you want to see in particular, guys, leave it in the comments and I'll uh, see what I can do. 
Right guys, more to come shortly. Oh, also there's an X-ray transformer. So if any of you guys are into them things, we've got this to cut open. There's a big old X-ray head under there. So uh, that'll be coming soon as well. Lots to show guys. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks guys.